And hello folks, it is I, Kamikaze, here to bring you another quick tutorial. In this case, you're trying to get the online updater for RetroArch on Steam because it doesn't have it. Very simple fix. And if you are too lazy to do all of the work yourself, there is a RAR file in the description below. All you have to do is install RetroArch on Steam. Go over, properties, local files, browse the local files. And then here, just hop back into the Steam Apps Common and delete this folder and then put in the folder from the RAR file. Boom, done. You have all the cores. You've got the online updater. And just to show you that the online updater does work, boink, online updater. So now core downloader. And then I have all the cores installed just for the sake of this tutorial. Now, if you would like to know how to do this yourself, that way you don't get stuck with all of these cores or however you want to do it. It is very simple. All you do is obviously install RetroArch on Steam, but then go to their website, download their RetroArch for Windows, install it. Do the full shebang installation. Now, after you've done that, you go to the installation of that RetroArch. You grab all the files. You can just right-click. Oh, well, maybe not that way. I'll just highlight them all. Whoop! Grab all those files, and then you drag and drop them into the RetroArch folder of Steam. And that's it. It works literally out of the box. Now when you open it, it will give you the ability of doing the core updater instead of that stupid DLC thing that it keeps trying to do with, uh, um, you know, how they have Steam. And why is it that... There, that was bugging me. Um, and that's it. Uh, the benefit, since... Uh, you might actually still be watching the video is I also have it set up to have the dolphin config. So with the remote play together or having other people connect multiple GameCube controllers, it works. So it actually will use multiple game controllers and that edit on the any file is already done. So that's really it. That's all you have to do to be able to do the online updater tool. I don't know why they don't just freaking leave it in there. Why they have to do the DLC. Don't know. But if this helped you out, please remember to do all the things that make me happy camper that help you out, that help typical people like me out that do to use stuff. My brain died. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.